What's up everybody? Eagle McMahon here. I am coming to you from Austin, Texas to give you the 2020 edition of what's in my bag. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump on in. First off, I'm still putting with the Glow P-Line P2, the Imperial Eagle Run. This one doesn't say Imperial Eagle, but it is the same run is the 2018 Kona Pisa Open Triumph Series. I use this at Memorial, and I'll probably use it for maybe four or five more events. I like to kind of switch out my main putter probably three to four times a year, depending on how I'm feeling. Usually when I start missing a bunch of putts, that's when I know it's time for a new putter. But I like the, I like the rate that this is beating in right now. So I can imagine this staying in the bag till probably just after GBO area. And then this one is uh, one that I had in the bag a while ago, and it's probably my most decorated putter. I've I used this uh, a lot in the 2018 season, had a lot of success with it. So I kind of like just having this in the bag as a warm up putter, but also as a little bit more of a glidey putter for putts maybe outside 50 feet. It just stays in the air a little bit longer and it's also a little bit straighter than this one. Okay, moving on. I am carrying three links, all uh, a different variation. The first is a EXO hard link. This is kind of my go-to approach putter, also short range driving putter, this one in particular. Uh, it's pretty beat up, pretty understable, but it's still point and shoot at lower power. So I'm throwing this quite a bit off the tee, but also approach shots. Um, but if I need a little bit more stability, this is usually flip-flop, but the hard is normally a little bit more overstable than the soft, but this one in this case is a little bit more beat up and the soft just holds a little bit straighter, maybe even fades a little bit to the left. But when I'm not throwing the hard or when I just want a different feel, I'm going with the soft. Essentially, these two discs are the same thing, but I just like to have both in the bag. Next one is a Lux Link. It is completely different. It's same, same, but different. Uh, these are a little bit shorter distance. I can get a little bit more grip, maybe be a little bit more accurate at shorter distance. But this thing, the Lux Link, shout out to JJ from Boulder. I got this one from him. Uh, it's, it's if I'm in between a mid range and a putter, I'm probably gonna go with this. Or if I just want a really soft finish, I'll go with the Lux Link. Uh, I really like the way this flies. It flies incredibly straight when I put a lot of power on it. So if I'm throwing it, I can throw it over 400 feet, start on a little hyzer and it just pops up and rides dead straight. I'm really enjoying having this in the bag. And if you notice, I'm not throwing the P3X anymore. Why? Well, because of the Lux Link, but also because of this disc. The Razor Claw or the Tactic. These two are both uh, my signature series discs. This one is special. This is the prototype. And if you look closely, it has a from Sweden to myself stamp. This is a very special stamp only available in, I don't know, I think there's only a few discs made with this stamp. So super cool, super special. This is the first Tactic that I've ever, uh, ever threw or razor claw, whatever you want to call it. And I absolutely love this disc. It is uh, our overstable approach putter that we've been waiting so long for. You can throw it on windy days, forehand approaches. Uh, it's just an amazing uh, short range driving putter, approach putter, trusty in the wind. I've been waiting a long time for this and I'm really um, happy that Disc Mania gave this disc to me as uh, my signature series. So thank you, Dismania. These are awesome. And when they do drop, hopefully soon, they might already be out by the time you're watching this. So if they are, go get one. I love it.
All right, next, I am carrying three Glow MD3s. There's one that I don't have in the bag at the moment because I lost it at Memorial, but I will be getting that back. So here's a picture of the disc that I lost. Shout out to Corey Mural for picking it up out of the lost and found. And shout out to the guys who got it out of the water. You guys are awesome. But until then, I have a different one in the bag. I first have the European Open from 2013 Glow MD3. This thing has been in the bag since 2015. So that's a long time. This is the oldest disc in my bag. And honestly, I can't believe that it is still in my bag. So at this point, this thing is just a relic. It's understable and you know, there's a certain time where you just need to go in your bag and pull out your trusty mid-range. Next, I have a newer European Open Glow MD3 that is pretty much my go-to kind of slight hyzer to straight shot. Also throw it for some forehands. This is kind of the, the go-to straight flyer at the moment. And I'm kind of toying with this. It's a huck die, but it's essentially an Iron Samurai. Uh, same run. Uh, this is just kind of fill in the bag at the moment until I get that crowned eagle back from Corey. But you never know, it might stay in the bag. Uh, I threw it a few times today and it seems to be uh, holding pretty stable, which is kind of what I, uh, I need it for. So those are my MD3s. Moving on to kind of my control fairway drivers. Right now, I got three in the bag. This one I'm kind of toying with right now. I think I really like it. I'll tell you about it. It is the three-tooled FD2, not the Royal Rage, but the uh, standard C-Line, just kind of an X out. Uh, I really like this plastic. It feels a little bit different than the Royal Rage, maybe a little bit stiffer, uh, maybe a little bit taller in the hand, but not quite as tall as this disc, the Instinct. Uh, I really like the feel for four hands. I had it in my previous in the bag. I'm kind of revisiting it. I don't know if it'll stay around, but if it does, I can imagine it's for more wooded courses. Uh, the next turn I play right now is Waco. This will probably be out uh, around that time or maybe after, but I'm planning to uh, throw this sidearm on quite a, few, quite a few holes there. So we'll see how that goes. Next, one of my favorite discs that we have released um, recently is the Evolution Instinct. I got two in the bag. This white one, or white ones in general of the Neo Instinct are a little bit more understable. Uh, I don't throw the FD anymore, so this thing has pretty much replaced the FD. This is for rollers or if I need a hyzer flip shot for maybe a, a little bit more uh, accuracy oriented shots. And then I have a newer uh, just kind of pink Neo that's on the little bit more stable side where I can get put some energy into. It's gonna fly straight and maybe have a little bit of a, a finish to the left. Now, one of my most important discs is the FD3, currently carrying four. I'll tell, I'll tell you about them by stability. Shout out to Jaime. He gave me this amazing swirly one out of his special stash at the warehouse. Uh, this is my least stable. It's kind of in place of a luster FD3. So uh, it has some good glide, a little bit straighter, and you know, yeah, it, it goes a little bit further than your standard FD3. Next is the Color Glow C-Line. It's a little bit more overstable than the one I just told you about, but uh, it still has good glide good stability, really comfortable for forehands. Uh, whenever I have the opportunity to throw this disc, it's really great. I haven't really thrown it too much for backhands quite yet, but I imagine that uh, when I need it for maybe a, a little bit straighter shot that still has a good finish, I'll be reaching for this. And no doubt my favorite run of the FD3 ever and probably the most thrown disc in my bag is the Glow FD3. There's just something really special about this. When they first came out, and I don't even know what year, I believe 2018, 
it's just been a staple. It's the perfect stability to be my go-to driver for forehand and backhand. Just, I'm throwing them fan grip, power grip, forehand, and you know, it's, it's something that I can really just depend on. I feel like my game is always the best when I'm relying on this disc. Lastly, I have Peach. Uh, I've had uh, this color of FD3 in the bag for quite a while now. Something about this color and the run, second run, it's the most overstable run of FD3 that I have found great for forehands or something or shots where I just know I need stability and need to dump to the ground. This, this has got me taken care of. Next is the PD. Sometimes I have three, right now I have two. I have a first run C-Line. No surprise, it's my favorite run of PD. Power grip, fan grip, sidearm, very versatile. For my power, it's kind of my straight flyer, has a little bit of consistent finish to the end. Love throwing this disc, especially on courses where uh, it allows me to throw this disc a lot, especially like Milo up in Oregon. I'm throwing the first run PD probably the 50% of the time out there. Just absolutely awesome disc. I wish I could throw it more, but it kind of, uh, it depends where I'm at in the country. Uh, more on the West Coast, I'm throwing this or just kind of a little bit longer courses where you still need accuracy. Uh, but right now I'm not throwing it too much, but. I'm excited for when I do. Next is a 13th run PD, most overstable run of PD. I pretty much only throw this with power grips or if I need a flex shot, mostly power grips where I'm just throwing it really hard and I don't need it to go as far as a PD2. It's a really comfortable disc to have in the bag when I do need it, but I don't throw it all that much but it's pretty nice when I do. Next is the PD2. I have three in the bag. I can't tell you what runs they are. This is one of the latest runs. For a PD2, it's not too crazy stable. Uh, it's kind of my distance PD2 slash forehand PD2, where uh, I just need a little bit less distance like a cloud breaker. I need something to kind of fall out of the air, but still get some good distance like this guy. Have a old run of S-Line P2 that's fairly stable. This is, this is probably the PD2 I'm relying on for mid-range, mid-range distance, not a mid-range, but mid-range long distance shots. Uh, that I just need to be pretty consistent. Shout out to Austin Montgomery. This came out of his special stash. And have a Metal Flake PD2 that I got from Jerry Patterson. Shout out to Launchpad. A lot of shout outs in this video. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, a Metal Flake, so super overstable, really reliable. And usually I have a Hypno Huck in the bag, but I don't have it at the moment. Oh, there's a ladybug on my bag. That means everything's going according to plan. Good news. But back to the disc. Yeah, I usually have a Hypno Huck in the bag, but I just don't have one right now because I'm carrying so many discs, guys. It's crazy. I wanna carry even more, but I'm already at like around 30 discs. Cause if I carry any more, that'd just be way too much. But this kind of, does everything I need to. I imagine like a GBO or any kind of more open courses where it gets windy, I'll probably throw a hypno huck in the bag. Uh, so yeah, keeping it at three right now. I don't really need more than three. All right, next disc is the DD3 or the Cloud Breaker. This one is a DD3, not of the Cloud Breaker variety. This one is from the latest run of Cloud Breaker. I'll tell you about this one first. Uh, really grippy, just an amazing feel. This one's a little bit flatter than this, the other one I have. And right now this is kind of my forehand or roller disc. 
you know, I'll throw it backhand too. Just, they're, they're pretty much the same disc, honestly. Uh, but let me just talk about the DD3 slash Cloudbreaker as a whole. There was a day where I didn't have this disc and I was throwing PD2s for my long range distance shots, which I made it work, but let's just say, I am glad that those days are over because this, this thing is just, oh, it's been in my bag for over a year now. And it just makes, it just makes life a lot easier, guys. It goes really far, but you don't sacrifice hardly, you don't sacrifice any control for it being a wide rim driver. Uh, forehand or backhand, the Cloudbreaker or DD3 is the GOAT driver that I have thrown. I'm just really, I'm, I just love the fact that I get to throw it. It is awesome. discs that I'll tell you about. The first one is a D-Line TD. I would normally have an FD in the bag, but I went up to the warehouse and the D-Line FDs that they had were a little bit, uh, they did, I didn't really like the feel of them and I couldn't find any max weight. So I found a D-Line TD, which was a really grippy D-Line plastic that I really love. So I figured I'd give it a try and it behaves essentially the same as a D-Line FD. So really like uh, the DTD at the moment. Could substitute, substitute it for a D-Line FD. Not really much difference when uh, you're throwing it as a paper plate or the type of shot that I'm trying to throw for. Just really understable, gets the ground and rolls. Um, yeah, it's, it's, doing, it's doing its job. And finally, the Metal Flake Max, still got it. It is by far the most overstable utility disc that I have found. It's the security blanket that I need to know that I can go out in any condition and compete. There's a 100 mile per hour gust of wind. This thing can fight it. Uh, and you know, with my, the, with my power, I need a disc like this. Most players would not need a disc like this, but with my off axis torque at times and uh, me gritting my teeth on as hard as I can, this disc uh, definitely uh, finds its place in my bag. All right, that's pretty much what is in my bag. I'll talk about what's what else is in my bag for a sec. Sure, I have a Mini with the Anjuna Beats logo. Also Park City, shout out to Park City, Alabama. Those are kind of my family now, I guess. Um, I got a GoPro that I forgot to set up. Oh no, this is fine, I guess. You know, I'll set it up just right now. Let me turn it on. Um, see, when you shoot your own in the bag, this is what happens. Oh gosh, it's on a... Uh, Gosh, you know, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, never mind. We're not getting that camera angle. Shout out to Levon Wolf, the InZone Quick Stick. This thing is amazing. I thought I wouldn't use it that much, but I use it a lot. It's basically just extends and you can get your disc. I recommend it to anybody because who likes leaving a disc behind? And the last thing I'll say, shout out to Whale Sacks. I couldn't play without them. I really couldn't. Uh, they are filled with clay that when your hands get sweaty, you just feel up your whale and then you have grip again. And it's great because my hands get sweaty. It's, ah, they're awesome. I love Whale Sacks. I love them a lot. But yeah, that is... That is it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. And hopefully I'll come to a course near you and I get to meet you, yes, you watching this year or next year or sometime, whenever. But until then, keep on dreaming. Peace.